Anatomy isn't for everyone, but it is critical in understanding how your vision works. Eye anatomy is the machine part of vision. Neurons and cortex are the wiring and processing. What follows is an embarrassingly brief and simple summary of eye anatomy. There is, as you might expect, a lot more going on that's worth knowing. Eye anatomy is incredibly complicated, and luckily some great books have been written on the subject. You can find a much easier general overview of visual anatomy as part of the Introduction to Human Vision course on visionmechanic.net. Here are a few basic ideas to start. The stiff, rubbery eyeball, or globe, is clear at the front. This is the cornea. The white of the eye is called the sclera. The cornea provides most of the focusing power of the eye, but is immovable and provides a fixed focus only. The space between the cornea and the iris is the anterior chamber, which contains a clear fluid called the aqueous. This watery fluid bathes and nourishes the inside parts of the front of the eye, or anterior segment. The iris has three muscles in it that control its size or pupil. This is connected to the same muscle complex that focuses the clear lens. This complex is called the ciliary body. The ciliary body also produces the aqueous and is partly responsible for the feeling of strain from difficult focus and targeting. Immediately behind the iris is the crystalline lens which can change shape by muscle action of the ciliary body in order to refine focusing of light on the receptor cells of the retina. The space inside the eyeball is filled with clear jelly called the vitreous which supports the structure of the eye while allowing clear passage of visual information to the retina. The inside of the sclera is lined with a layer of fine blood vessels called the choroid, which supports the retina. The retinal photoreceptor cells line the inside of the eyeballs, and these receive light information focused on the retina by the cornea and lens. The eye is designed to provide best focus at the fovea, a small patch of high-resolution cells at the back of the eye. All retinal fibers gather together in complex networks and ultimately join up as the optic nerve connecting the eyeballs to the brain. A person could literally read 24-7 for years and still not understand all the ins and outs of visual anatomy and physiology. Still, there's a lot more to vision than the sum of the parts. You can learn a lot more at visionmechanic.net, so feel free to go over and have a look.